Hello, Quiver River members. I'm Doug Tracy, your CEO. I just wanted to touch base with you and kind of give you an update on uh, the situation as things continue to unfold. First of all, I'd like to thank you very much for your support during this time. This is uh, obviously unprecedented for all of us. So uh, we're having to make a lot of decisions quickly and the, the uh, situation continues to change um, uh, rapidly. So first of all, I'd just like to thank you for, uh, for your support as we, uh, as we navigate through these times. Um, I'd like to just remind you of a couple of things um, that we've communicated with you uh, on our social media as well as our website, but just to reiterate again, um, our offices remain closed, both at Detroit headquarters and at our uh, Lake St. Louis office, as well as the drive throughs at this time. Uh, that's going to be continuing um, until we, we see uh, the end of, uh, of the current situation. So um, the offices do remain closed, but uh, our office employees uh, continue to be available to take your phone calls and to assist you uh, just as they have uh, when, when they're in the office. So uh, feel free to continue to, uh, to call us when you need us. We also have many electronic uh, ways of doing business that uh, we've talked about on our social media and website as well. So look at those for payments, for online applications, for things of that nature. Um, I also want to remind everyone that uh, several weeks ago, we did suspend disconnections for uh, both our regular uh, meters as well as prepaid. So I want to remind you of that. Um, it's the right thing to do right now. People are struggling and, uh, and we want to be there and try to try to help people. I've been told that some people may try to take advantage of that. Um, I've got faith in our membership that that's, uh, that's not going to happen. It's the right thing to do right now to help struggling people um, as they've lost uh, wages and are struggling to get through this. So I want to remind everybody that uh, disconnections have been suspended at this time. Work with us on that. We're going to work with you as well, but um, right now it's the right thing to do to, to help people get through this. Um, wanted to address this a little bit. Uh, if you've been watching the, the news, you learned that uh, Governor Parson issued a stay-at-home order yesterday on, uh, for um, the state of Missouri. And I wanted to just make sure that you understood what that meant as far as uh, getting reliable power. Um, our generation and transmission companies have taken several steps to, uh, to ensure that they can continue to make electricity for us and get it to uh, to uh, our members and so uh, we have taken steps as well here at Quiver River to make sure that uh, that we keep your lights on. Right now you're still going to be seeing uh, orange trucks that are out there in the field or outside personnel are continuing to uh, to work. Uh, we have over 5,500 miles worth of line and it takes a lot to keep that uh, up and running and uh, so I'm very proud of the efforts that they're uh, that they're putting in to, um, to not only help with uh, if we have outages that need to be restored, but also to do maintenance to prevent outages from happening uh, to begin with. So um, it's April, it's springtime in, uh, in Missouri, and you know what that means. It means that there's a, a good chance of storms here and there. Um, so uh, outages, you know, can possibly happen. I want to assure you that we're going to be there for you to, uh, to get those uh, outages restored. I would ask that you be a little bit patient. We've had to change a lot of different work procedures. Um, throughout that so it may take a little bit longer than normal it may not but I wanted to just kind of uh, to ask for your flexibility and patience as we kind of have had to adjust some of the work procedures that we've had with our crews um, just to keep them safe as well so um, so appreciate your uh, your flexibility there but uh, but rest assured we are going to uh, to keep the power flowing to you if your power does go off with a storm or a car hitting a pole or anything like that we're going to be there to, uh, to get that restored. So um, one less thing that, that you need to worry about right now with, with everything else. If you do see our guys out in the field, um, you wanna thank them, um, feel free to do that. But I would ask that you remember that they are socially distancing as well. So if you wanna thank them, holler it at them. Uh, don't go up and, and try to shake your hands or anything because they, uh, they are also um, working hard through this. They've all got families that they're concerned about as well. And so we wanna protect them uh, as much as we can. So, so thank you for that. Um, and lastly, again, just uh, like to thank you for for your support during this time. Um, you know, it's it's a difficult time for uh, for everyone right now, but um, it's a time that uh, we can focus on what's important and um, and what really matters. And I'd ask just everybody to to remember there's some people that are really struggling right now. If you see those people and you can help them, uh, reach out. It's about uh, community right now. Quiver River wants to be a part of that and be supportive of uh, of our communities at this time. So so reach out to those that you see may be struggling right now, see if you can help them. And, um, and remember, this is gonna end. It's not gonna last forever. We're gonna get through this. And so uh, in the meantime, let's just help each other out. So stay safe and God bless. Thank you.